Hi everyone, I hope you're doing all well. So for today's video, I've got this auto makeup look and I really do hope you enjoy it. So I'm actually going to jump straight into my eyes. I'm going to be using the Maybelline concealer all over my eyelids just as a primer. I'm actually so excited for autumn now. I don't really know why, but I'm so excited for such getting cold and all cozy. So that's why for today's look, I'm going to be doing a bit of like a dark eye. It's a bit darker than I usually do. And I'm going to be doing a red lip, which if you guys know me, I use lip glosses all the time. Anyways, so I'm using the Marc Jacobs palette that I just showed you guys. And can I just say, I'm so, so, so impressed with the eyeshadows in this palette. They're so pigmented and they blend so, so, so well. So that's a plus. And now I'm just blending in my transition shade into my crease. It's just like a magnet, you So as you guys can probably tell, there's a lot of blending, so I just blended loads and loads. But now next up, I'm going to be taking the same concealer that I used previously and I'm going to be putting this on my eyelids. And I love doing this because I feel like it makes the eyeshadow even more intense on top. For my eyelid color, I'm gonna be using this cream shade and I'm just gonna place this on top of my concealer. And I just love this effect of like a dark crease and a really, really, really light, matte, no shimmery eyelid. So I'm mainly focusing on pressing the eyeshadow instead of blending in. So I press and then I kind of like blend in a little bit. And obviously, I'm gonna come back with my brush and blend the eyeshadow on the crease. Now, moving on into my outer V, I'm gonna be using this darker brown and it's like a beautiful beautiful chocolate color and I'm just slightly blending this in on my outer V and this also kind of like make your eyes pop a little bit so I love doing this with my makeup looks as you can probably tell and you can be as messy as you can because all you have to do after you just clean off the edges and you're good to go So here I'm just going to clear out the edges because as I said it doesn't matter if you're messy or not all you have to do is just come back with a cotton pad and it works like magic. <laughs> Next up I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to be drawing a really really thin line as close as I can to my lash line and this is just going to give an illusion that you've got longer and fuller lashes. <laughs> And just before I finish my eyes, I'm going to be applying some mascara and fake lashes. Now moving on to my face, I'm going to be using this Pochua product, which is kind of like a highlighter slash primer because you guys know me, I can't just apply foundation straight into my face. I love having like a shimmery cream or something before my foundation because it just makes my skin look so so glowy and healthy. Now moving on to foundation, I'm using this one by Rimmel London and it was also the first time that I used it but can I just say, this is also another product that I'm so 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 impressed with. I absolutely love this applicator and it's also similar to the one by Clinique. So Clinique's got foundation that's got kind of like a similar applicator but I actually think that this one is better than the Clinique one because it gives you out so much product. And this foundation is medium coverage and I just feel like it doesn't feel like you've got foundation on your face, if that makes sense. Wow, and in general, I'm just obsessed with it. Also, can't forget to blend in on my neck because even though on camera it looks like this is the perfect match for my skin, it was actually 
a little bit darker in real life. I am back with the Maybelline concealer now and I'm just going to be applying this under my eyes, on my nose and on my chin. And I also forgot how obsessed I am with this concealer so I'm so happy that I found this. It was just like at the bottom of my drawer and I just rescued it again so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this loads now. And I love it because it highlights and it really covers at the same time. So I'm just going to blend it in with this little sponge which is actually from Primark but it's literally amazing. You were already Moving on into contour, I'm using the Rimmel Contour Stick in the shade Dark and I'm just going to apply this on my cheek, on my nose and on my jawline. And this is also a new product that I just tried out and it is really good, it's really easy to blend but I feel like I still prefer my Clinique Chubby Stick. To bronzer, I'm gonna be using this Stila bronzer on my cheeks, my jawline, and a little bit on my forehead. I know summer is over, but I still want to look bronze. So you guys know this is pretty much my favorite part of makeup. Actually, bronzer and highlighter, I'll say, it's 100% my favorite part of makeup. Like I cannot live without bronzer. I couldn't live without foundation, without eyeshadow, but bronzer and highlights are like definitely my must have on a makeup look. And speaking of highlighter, I'm using the Soft and Gentle by MAC, which I absolutely love. And finally, I'm not using lip gloss in one of my videos. So. And you know that I'm not really into lipstick, but I absolutely love a red lip, like especially in winter and autumn. So that's what I decided to do for today's video. And that's everything guys, I really really do hope you enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you very soon, bye!